Hi, I'm Dr. Greg, and welcome to the advanced workout of the VersaSculpt Dolly Rocker. And today we have Liz with us. Liz, what's your age and what do you do? I'm 36 years old and I'm a massage therapist. And how about your workouts? What do you do and how often do you work out? Well, I exercise six days a week. Four of those days I do uh, CrossFit and then I do yoga every day. Okay, so it sounds like you work out a lot. Why the Dolly Rocker for you? Um, I wanted something that was simple that I could use at home to help with my core to complement everything else okay. I do. Okay, take you to the next level. Yes. Awesome. You ready to start? I'm ready. Okay, so our first exercise is going to be the one-legged squat. So what I'd like you to do is place your right foot on the middle of the rocker. I want you to look straight ahead and find a good spot to focus on. Pretend you're holding a tennis ball or orange under your chin. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is make sure you breathe. And now go ahead and sit back like you're sitting on a chair behind you. Good, that's it. And keep those knees right where they are. Don't let them come out in front of the toes. Okay. And now where are you feeling that? I'm feeling that in my bum and my core. Excellent. Now go ahead and let's shift to the other side and put the left foot on the middle of the dolly rocker. And again, feet grounded and solid. Find that spot and go ahead and sit back. That's great. And the amazing thing about the dolly rocker is you're not only going to develop strength, you're going to develop balance and coordination and you're going to engage your core and posture muscles all the time through every exercise. And for the advanced workout with the dolly rocker, we need something that's vital for everyone and that's balance. Okay, So we're going to train the muscles of strength and the muscles of stability. So when you step out of that shower and you hit a wet spot, your body catches you rather than you fall. So this is really tough and I want you to start at home facing the wall with two hands on the wall. But to show you the proper form, we're going to do it sideways, which would be your next step. Okay, Liz, so put both feet just outside the logo of the dolly rocker with one hand on the wall. And that alone, you can see how much she's wobbling and that's retraining all those key muscles and your nervous system. Now, if you can, just gently lift the hand off the wall. Great, that's great. <laughs> Okay, now step off the rocker. This time we're gonna go a little more advanced and she's gonna put one foot in the very middle of the dolly rocker. Excellent. And now look straight ahead, find that spot to focus on. And if you can, slightly lift that hand off the wall. That's great. And once again, that wobbling is what we want. That's what's retraining all those key, small, intricate muscles. Okay, where do you feel that? I feel that through my whole leg and hip. Excellent. Okay, so let's take it a step further and we're gonna go to a squat on the wall. So go ahead and get yourself up against the wall first. Go ahead and sit back against the wall and take a wide stance just on either side of the logo. Okay, and make sure those feet are both firmly planted into the dolly rocker. And use the hands here for help. And go ahead and slide your body down the wall. Good. And come back up. You can even slightly turn the knees out, which will help give you a little more stability. Excellent. And as you can see, as Liz felt more comfortable, she went further down. Start slower, start with less dip down, and then go further as you feel comfortable. How's that? Good. And where do you feel that the most? I feel that through my, my legs and my hip, and even into my core a little bit. Excellent. Okay, and one thing we promised with the Dolly Rocker is that we could customize it to you and it would grow with you. So Liz, ready for a little more growth? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna take her to the next level of balance, maybe beyond what she thought she could do. So put one foot right in the middle, closest to the wall, right in the middle of the rocker, one hand on the wall, and look straight ahead and find that focal point. Good, and now once you feel you get your balance, go ahead and move that other foot and leg out in front of you. Fantastic, a little back. And again, all that wobbling is great. That's retraining her body. And now out to the side. And then try to bring that foot up to the other knee. Let it kiss the other knee. And play around with it, have fun with it. This is how you grow. How about the arm towards the ceiling? Excellent. 
How's that feel? Where do you feel that? I feel that in my whole body. Awesome. Okay, and so this one, Liz, I want you to go ahead and put your knees in the middle of the rocker and hold on to that wall again and try to bring the feet off the ground. It's okay to use that wall for pr protection and safety. Excellent, and again, as much as she wobbles, that's retraining the body and making her stronger. And don't forget to switch around and do it on the other side to use the other hand and keep even and balanced. So we're gonna do a squat, which is fantastic for balance and stability, but gaining those powerful muscles in your hips. Okay, so what I want you to do is get the dolly rocker into dolly mode, put it on the wall, and go ahead and put it to your lower back and lean back against it. As you can see, Liz has her feet slightly more than shoulders width apart. And go ahead and lean your body back and slide down. Good. Now that's a fantastic, really deep squat. The first time through, especially for men, you may not want to go as deep and work up to it. And you see she has her core engaged and she's looking straight ahead and protecting that neck and chin. Excellent. Ready for the next challenge? I'm ready. Okay. Now let's try to do it with one leg. So you're going to want to balance yourself over the leg you choose. First leg. Slide down and one leg out. And again, that's, that's excellent. And again, start by not coming down as far at the time until you build up some strength and stability. Excellent. Now let's try the other leg. Alright. And where are you feeling that? In my leg. <laughs> In your whole leg? My whole leg. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's continue with some great lower body exercises. Let's okay. do a lunge. We'll do what we call a sliding lunge. So go ahead and step one foot on the middle of the dolly rocker, focusing straight ahead at a key point, and push that front foot firmly in the ground as you slide back and let your body come down. Excellent. You'll see she won't let the knee come all the way out in front of the toes either. That's excellent. Do one more. And let's add a little challenge to it. Go ahead and do what we call the curtsy lunge, where you bring the foot towards the other side and come back. This is great for working all of the hips fully engaged from a standing position. Okay, let's continue on the advanced workout for lower body. And what I want you to do is place your right foot in the middle of the dolly. And again, get into that nice squat position. Find your focus and continue to breathe and slide out and back. And make sure that foot is firmly in the middle of the dolly, right over, over that logo. Excellent. And where are you feeling that now? I'm feeling that in my left bum cheek. Excellent. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So again, put your left foot in the middle, both feet grounded, find that spot and slide out. The great thing about this is you're actually engaging all your core muscles and posture muscles while stretching one muscle group and the antagonist is strengthening at the same time. Great. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take a spot on the floor, on your back. And both foot in the middle. And if you could outline and cover the Dolly Rocker logo, that's perfect. Okay. And rest on your back. Now, push both feet firmly into the Dolly Rocker. And then I want you to lift up and again, slide out and come back, bring through the heels, excellent. And make sure you're breathing all the way through. And one more. Good, and now rest for a moment. Where'd you feel that? I felt that through my whole backside and core. Excellent, okay, you ready for a little more advanced? I am. Okay, come back up to that pelvic lift, bring the feet straight out. Now pretend you're a windshield wiper and go from side to side. Excellent. Pressing the heels firmly down into the dolly the whole time and keeping your core engaged. Excellent. So straighten the legs out. Now lift one leg off the dolly, the other right in the middle. And again, windshield wiper side underneath one leg and out to the side. Excellent. This is the super advanced version right here. 
Good, continue that breathing. Always engaging that core. Now switch legs. Excellent. And try to keep that pelvis level to the floor. Great job. Okay, so let's do another great exercise for the hips and lower body. So go ahead and get on your side. Bring the dolly over to the wall. Put the foot as best you can in the middle. And I want you to protect the neck and upper body, keep everything straight, and just lift that foot up towards the ceiling and down. Excellent. And you'll notice she keeps the hips from rocking either way. She's keeping them steady. Very important. And now let's add a little to it, make it more challenging, incorporating different muscles, and do a windshield wiper. Excellent. Do you feel a difference between the two? I do. Excellent. Where do you feel that? I feel the difference on the side and the back. So let's give your lower body a break and let's go to some great upper body movements. Okay. So I want you to keep it in the dolly mode uh -huh. and I want you to turn and face the wall okay. and go ahead and put your hand in the middle of the dolly and press it firmly against the wall and now look and turn and face the wall and I want you to bring your arm up as if you're reaching over your head. Excellent. And again, keeping those shoulders stable, shoulder blades down. She's looking straight ahead at the wall, protecting the neck. And you can see she's even creating some different movements and angles, and feel free to do that. Do some circles or some other movements through there. That's fantastic for posture and core, but upper body and arm as well. Okay, how does that feel? Feels good. <laughs> okay, so what I'd like you to do is to take a push-up position. Okay. I want your left hand in the middle of the dolly rocker and the right hand for support and legs all the way back. Now, really important here, Liz, to engage that core and keep your pelvis level. Shoulder blades down. Okay. Ready? And go ahead and do a push-up. Excellent. And now go ahead and switch hands to the other side. Keep that chin tucked properly. Pretend you're holding a tennis ball and go ahead. Excellent. Now where are you feeling that? In my arms. Anywhere else? In my core. <laughs> Excellent. So you were combining both once again. Okay, now let's get a little more challenging. Both hands on the rocker. And you can either put hands flat or you can grab on the side, whatever feels more comfortable. And again, keep that chin tucked, perfect, and go ahead and breathe and down. And that's great. That little wobble is means her body's learning and the nervous system is gaining more knowledge and getting her stronger. Okay, we're using fast twitch muscles and core and all of it, right? All of it. Excellent, now let's go one step even further. Turn around and put your feet on the middle of the rocker. Hands in push-up position and again nice and long like a plank position. And go ahead and go down. And, ag and again, this wobble is great, that's what we want. And one more. Great, take a break for a second. Okay, you ready for super advanced? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, good. So go back to that position, and this time put one foot in the very middle, pressing down with those toes, and the other leg straight back off, just off, and go ahead and come down, and try to keep that pelvis level to the floor, both parts of your hip facing down. Excellent, great job. Okay, Liz, let's take the advanced upper body one step further. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, great. Come on over to this chair and please pick a chair that is really stable and balanced and check it before you do the exercise. Okay, so sit on the bench, shoulder blades down towards the bench, squeeze down, and grasp firmly, elbows pointed back towards the chair, back of the chair, okay. feet planted in the middle. Now lift your pelvis off and slowly go down. Again, look at that, she's looking straight ahead protecting the neck, shoulder blades down towards the back pocket. Good, one more. Excellent. Where do you feel that? I feel that in my core and in my shoulders and triceps. Excellent. Okay. 
Okay, let's move on to the super advanced core, which everybody loves and really needs. So Liz, go ahead and put your hands on the dolly rocker. And what I want you to do is make sure you're looking down. That's great. Keep that chin tucked properly like you're holding a tennis ball and shoulder blades down towards the back pocket. Perfect. Now, go ahead and slide your arms out. Good, and back. Make sure you're breathing through this exercise. And the further you go, the more challenging it will be. So the first few, you may start a little smaller and work up to it. That's great. Now, keep that position, and we're gonna go and work more of the obliques by going side to side. And keep it short and tight for this one. Good, now we can expand it, and I want you to pretend it's a windshield wiper. Reach out a little further and go a little wider. Further down into the obliques. Excellent, and you'll see she has her chin fully tucked and protected. That's excellent, okay. Now take a breath. Good, and now what I want you to do is pretend this is a steering wheel and you're gonna turn each direction. That's it, keep it short and tight right there. Try to keep those ribs tucked in. Good, now Ethan, work in some figure eights or whatever movements, there doesn't have to be any set pattern to this. This is the fun part, get creative and really engage both the obliques and the rectus muscles. You're getting full core workout through this. You'll also notice she's getting shoulders and arms worked into this as well. This is what we talked about, the dolly rocker never stops being a full body workout. Okay, Liz, ready for some more super advanced core? Ready. Okay, excellent. So what I'd like you to do is to put your hands into a push-up position and feet on the middle of the rocker and come up to that full push-up position. Now, keep that chin protected, pretend you're holding a tennis ball, and I want you to bring the knees up towards your elbows, excellent, and then back. And really push those toes down, great. And push through the floor with your whole hand, excellent. Okay, now I want you to go right from there to the same motion and bring the knees sideways to the outside of the elbow. Great. Good, one more time each side. Great, now where do you feel that one? In my core. Excellent, you feeling some of the side and the obliques too? Absolutely. And how do your arms feel in that challenging position? Very tired. Excellent, so now I want you to rise up and not bend the knees and bring the toes up towards your elbows, excellent. So you go into that pike position. That's great, this is super challenging and super hard, but you're gonna love it and work up to it. Good, and now from there, yes, go side to side like you're a pendulum. We've done this before, but this is the super advanced version. Great. Okay, Liz, one more core exercise for the super advanced. I want you to get in a push-up position and pretend the dolly rocker is a steering wheel. Great. And now you want to keep those ribs tucked, belly button slightly in, and protect that chin and turn the steering wheel. The more you turn the wheel, the harder it's going to be. So start with just small turns and build up. Again, this is a full body. It's working not only core, but those fast twitch muscles and muscles of movement as well. Great. You're done with that. Now, let's switch to rocker mode. Okay, now we're gonna move to what is a fantastic posture and lower back overall body exercise, which is the side plank. And we'll do two versions of it. This will be the advanced. So, Liz, go ahead and place your feet on the middle of the board. Super important to stack the feet as much as you can in the middle. Then put the whole arm, including the hand, press firmly down on the floor and lift the pelvis up. Good, and remember, big important point is to keep this shoulder down. Great, that's awesome. Now, look straight ahead the whole time and go ahead and reach your arm up towards the ceiling. We're going more advanced. And finally, super advanced, try to lift that leg up. Fantastic. <laughs> That's how you get better and stronger and more stable. That wobbling actually ignites your body to become stronger. Fantastic. So we're continuing with some great full body functional movements for the advanced workout, but we're gonna get some core and we're gonna get some cardio involved in both of this. So a great way to do this is to do an exercise for 20 seconds on, 10 second break, 
and then 20 seconds again. We're gonna do that for the next two exercises. So continuing with form and function, we're gonna get cardio worked in. Ready, Liz? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and get into a push-up position. Both hands on the board, rocker board. Legs back. And we're gonna do mountain climbers. Just like you're climbing up the mountain. And hold. And then we'd rest for 10 seconds. And then continue on for another 20. Do that in cycles of three, four, and five times. It'll be a fantastic cardio workout to finish the advanced workout. Awesome. Let's do one more thing to give a little variety. Let's do what we call plank jacks. Ready? So it's like a jumping jack from that pike uh, plank position. Excellent. And you'll notice her head is protected, her neck is protected. She's looking, focusing on one straight point. Perfect. Okay, and then be a 10 second break and then 20 seconds more. How's that? It's a good workout. <laughs> Okay, let's continue some of the advanced and super advanced workouts. We're gonna focus on the back chain. So that's the lower back, the glutes, and the hips, integrating all that together. So Liz, what I'd love you to do is to lift both legs up while keeping palms and elbows pressed into the floor and hold for a few seconds, and drop down. Good, and again, Liz is keeping the shoulders down towards the back pocket, and that chin protected. And remember to breathe. Excellent. Okay, take a second. Okay, now we're gonna move into another great rehab back exercise, which is the bird dog. So what I want you to do is you're gonna reach your right arm out and lift up while you lift the opposite leg. Fantastic. And down, other side, reach and lift both. Good. One more each side. Strengthening the low back, the glutes, and the hamstrings together. Great. Where do you feel that? I feel that all in my lower back. Excellent. Okay, so we've just finished up with Liz, the advanced and super advanced dolly rocker workout. How do you feel? I feel like I got a good workout. <laughs> a good workout? Really good? A great workout. Awesome. Where do you feel it the most? I feel it the most in my core. Excellent. Through my abs and my low back. And now as someone who works out so much and so many different varieties of workouts, what did the Dolly Rocker bring that maybe you weren't getting with your other workouts? It brought a whole other level of core work into my workout and will do nothing but complement what I already do. Awesome, great job.